time slips record charges that are associated with services in time. They are typically measured by the time spent on the task. This training video will show you the basics of creating a new time slip. From the navigator, switch to the time and expense view and click enter a time slip. You can set up slip preferences that can copy names from the previous slip. In this example, we have not set up those preferences. The timekeeper identifies the employee whose time you are billing. The task identifies the type of work you are doing for the client. In this example, we will create a time slip for a meeting with the client. You can set up defaults for the task that will automatically copy values to some of the slip fields. In this example, Sage Time Slip sets the values for the description and the time spent. The client identifies the person or company being billed for these charges. In this example, we will select Client Harper. References can help you group charges on bills and reports. Slips for Harper default to Palmer v. Harper. In this example, we will use this reference. You can use the extra field to track additional slip data. We will not use this field in this example. The slip description provides details about this charge. You can include this text on bills and reports. In this example, we will add to discuss collections to the default description. You can use the buttons to the left to format the description text, add private text, or expand the description field. Many other helpful commands are available on the right-click menu. The start date and end date indicate the date range of the slip. You can enter estimated time for the slip. This allows you to report on the variance between estimates and actual time. The time spent indicates the amount of time you spent on this task. Time slips typically multiply the time spent and the current billing rate to calculate the value of the slip. You can use the default time spent, enter time manually, or use the stopwatch timer to track time as you work. For example, you can click the on-off switch to start the timer to add time to the current slip. The time spent accrues until you stop the timer. As time accrues, you will notice that the slip value increases. When you use the slip timer, the slip indicates the start time, which you can include on bills or reports. Click the on-off switch to stop accruing time. The billing status indicates if you will charge your client for this task. Slips marked billable can appear on the client's bill. Slips marked do not bill will not appear on bills. This is useful when you want to track time but will not bill for it. Slips marked no charge will appear on bills but will not affect the total. Slips marked override can appear on the client's bill. They will be charged outside of any bill arrangement set up for the client. You can use the rate fields to determine the billing rate for this slip. Select the rate source and the rate level. The rate type determines how time slips calculates charges for the slip. You typically charge time slips by an hourly rate, which calculates the slip value by multiplying the time spent by the billing rate. Flat rates charge the rate value regardless of the time spent.
If needed, you can hold the slip for a future billing. You can also set the charge to recur on each bill for the client. You can use slip markups to adjust the slip value by a specific percent. You can also use slip adjustments to adjust the slip value by a specific dollar amount. You can also specify some of the time on the slip as do not bill time. This lets you make a portion of the slip unbillable. If you have a receipt or other image to include with the task, you can locate the image on your computer or you can scan a new image. If you do not usually change billing options, adjust slip values, or use attachments, you can hide these sections. When you are finished entering slip fields, click Save to save the slip.